Hey, 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 Uncle Mark here in the Mothership. Three string cigar box guitar. This is Bad Company. This is Feel Like Making Love. Three chord song, but it's got a twist uh, in the chorus. So uh, I'll just play some of it and then we'll break it all down. It's in D. Baby, when I think about you, think about love. Right, that's it right there, and that's basically the entire song. G, D, G, that's what we got going on here. Open G tuning. This is a 42, 34, 24. These are all wound. These are electric guitar strings. Some of you have asked what the difference between electric and acoustic are. A lot of acoustic uh, guitar strings are browns, are bronze wound. These are nickel wound. And that's, you know, basically the difference. You could put on um, acoustic guitar strings and plug them into an amp and rock and roll. It's not a big deal. But I just prefer the nickel wound. So that's me. G, open. G sharp, A, B flat, B, C, C sharp, D. So C here at the fifth fret and D here are our two chords along with open G. So the song is in D and if you put your hand right about here, just hold your hand here where your first finger is covering that fifth fret and your third finger or pinky is about here on this D, which is the seventh fret. So you see the dots right there. That's about where you want to hold your hand for this entire song because you're going to be playing in D. That's kind of where you want your hand to be. You don't need to go anywhere else. And the little harmonic you can do with your third finger here. So you're on D. And I'm, what I'm going to do is pull my hand away so that you can see my shapes. So this is a bar chord, and this will look like 777. Seven, seven. It's really a D, an A, and a D. Baby, when I think open G about you. I think about love, she opened, darling, she opened, couldn't live without you, then your love, if I did have those how I do it. I've also done it. So it depends on how good you are going back and forth. So down, up, down, down, up, down, C, D, G, 
are C, G, C, D, C, D, C, D, D, C, G. Well, I get all confused in here because I'm trying to think of a, think of the rhythm for you. So you can do it with one hand. Da, 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 da. you want to make that feel I'm making love to you and I like this little D harmonic and then there's a little bass thing where it goes boom and you can come up here to D and do that so D is right here just like it is down here there's your D your D is up here too. So just count the dots. One, two, three to D. One, two, three to D. Anything above these two dots here is the same as everything down here. It's just the same. It's an octave higher. And you can get that really nice thing there and the harmonic. If you need uh, some info on harmonics, look at my Just a Beginner lesson and you'll see a lesson on harmonics. So we're going to do this one more time together, and we're going to play it like so. we got our hand here. If I had opened those golden dreams D, of my yesterday, I would wrap you in the heavens and feel it dying all the way. Like making feel like making love. What chord did I make? Same with G. Feel like making love. Feel like making love to you. Now this shape I'm using is a G. So D, D sharp, E, F. You can look, I'm on the D string. F sharp and G right there. D and D. Looks like seven, five, seven. So I can do everything with this hand shape. And that's the way I would play it. Because I like being able to stop that chord as opposed to have this thing and have to like hit it hard with my karate chop here. This is a very, very cool song and you can crank up the gain on this. crank up the gain. It depends on what you like. You know, that all depends on what you like, but this is a great song. It's three chords. It's really pretty easy to play, and uh, I think you're going to get it. This is off of the Straight Shooter album, 1975. I remember buying the album at a little store called Waxy Maxies in Aspen Hill, Maryland, where I grew up. So, this is Uncle Mark in the Mothership. I do have a PayPal link here down below. It's paypal.me forward slash Uncle Mark Tips. Thank you for all your generous donations. I also have a Facebook page, Cigar BX Blue. And a bucket show is all we ask here. And uh, I'm going to show you my uh, settings here on my cube because they're a little bit different. I'm on the Brit Combo. My gain is about 12 o'clock. My reverb is about oh, a little below 3 you can see my tone is not dimed now. I'm, uh, I'm bringing a little more bass back into my tone. So you can look at that. Also, my tone knob here is very close to uh, all the way up. It's just about a quarter back. And my volume is back. And what happens is, if I want more grit, I get more grit without really being much louder. 
So that's what that volume knob will do for you. And you notice I use my pinky in the video, and that's that's a pro trick. <laughs> your uh crank it up real hard and then turn it back. So kind of get used to your, your volume knobs and your tone knobs and start start working them a little bit with your pinky here as you play and you'll get more proficient at it. This is something that you just have to do and uh, you'll get a little more proficient at it as you go and eventually it'll become second nature. You're playing at an open mic or you're playing for friends and uh, you're just uh, nice and chill. crank it back up, right? So that's just a little pro trick so that you guys can see those kind of things so that you, when you see it in the future and you see other artists doing it, you know what it is and you know how to do it yourself and you can learn from them as you uh, play around with these techniques. Thank you so much. This is Uncle Mark in the Mothership and we'll see you next time.